Okay, so this is kind of going to be me testing out how well a commentary would work for my thing. Um, basically, the idea is this is Quickshot Ed and Ed, Ed and Eddie, Season 1, Episode 7. Um, really, what you want to do is find the video. You can probably find it on YouTube. You're going to start at 0, 0, 0. I'm going to count down from free. When I hit 0, you hit play. And then you can watch it with me and uh, hear my thoughts and my needless trivia about this episode. Um, hopefully I can still hear it. Um, okay, so three, two, one. So we got the title screen. Um, Danny Ananucci, very funny man. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing his last name wrong. This show made my childhood. And we're in the attic. And there's Eddie. And uh, Double D and Ed. And this is what made my childhood. Uh, some funny voice actor trivia. Um, Ed's voice actor. Oh, that toast is nasty. I don't even think. You know, well, actually, Ed would definitely eat that. He'll probably eat that record, too. Oh, my God. I, oh, my God. He actually is going to eat it. Anyway, he's voiced by Matt Hill, who has some anime roles. Um. The two that I remember most are Kira Yamato from Gundam Seed, which is ironic as uh, Samuel... Oh, that is a sexy mantis. Um, Samuel Vincent, who does Double D, was Afrin. And Tony, who played Eddie, I don't remember his last name for the life of me, he um, uh, he did Miguel Iman, who Kira killed in the first episode. So that was funny. And Matt Hill, who did Ed, also did... Bon Kotsu in Inuyasha, leader of the band of seven. And um, I just want to see people like put Ed quotes over him so that when he charges into battle screaming, it's gravy, chickens. I love chickens, Eddie. But they're toast. <laughs> I just think that would be funny. And if anyone ever does a Gundam Seed of Brits, like an actual really well done one, because there was one a while ago, got taken down because it was crap. And well, Sunrise doesn't like people using their stuff. Um, I'd want Kira to be Ed from <laughs> from uh, this show. And there's Kevin, the quintessential jock who's kind of a jerk to everyone. Not that the Eds don't deserve a lot of the punishment they get. They are kind of mean. And the plot of this is they actually have a camera, and uh, the Flash is blinding people. And they're making a calendar. Oop, there goes Kevin. This was back when the Eds still kind of could win. They never did, but they could win, occasionally. And, uh, of course, there's Eddie scheming, as he always was. That is a creepy monkey. <laughs> Stepped into my best idea yet. And, um, I'm trying to think of other trivia. I think Naz, her voice actress, is now doing My Little Pony, but I'm not sure. I think Matt Hill's on that show, too. I, I don't watch it, but... I have nothing against it. It's just there. No one say anything in the comments. I will ban you. Not ban you, but I will delete the comments or something. I will block you. I don't like to inflate any sort of confrontation. I don't support confrontation. And, um, yeah. Oh my god, Johnny. That beautiful bastard. Everybody knows a Johnny in real life, sadly. Oh my god, if that isn't a rape face, I don't know what is. Or a slasher smile. Would get a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck. <gasps> smile. Plank's gone mad. I actually made a plank one year. I, I, I believe one year I made... I, I don't I wasn't trick or treating, but I made a plank for a Halloween costume. And I made a Johnny outfit. <laughs> and I think I dressed up a kid who had like a you know, really, really short hair at the time. Like he had it really buzzed close. I think I dressed him up as Johnny for Halloween. Why is there a can under the never mind, it's Ed's house. He has seagulls under his bed as later seasons will prove. And, of course, the whole eat your mattress was also a very high point of this. And there's Sarah, the uh, tyrant. 
And, oh, Jimmy. Pointing out why Jimmy is, well, Jimmy. Is he kissing that army man? He is. Yeah. Sarah's gone mad. Well, that's not very hard to invoke. You could look at him. Oh, wow. Eee! Duck. And there's Ed trying to be a big brother. Eat doll. That is a beautiful line. <laughs> and he picks up the... Uh, uh, I forgot how good this show was. I don't see it anymore. I know it still airs occasionally in the afternoon when they want to pad stuff, but as you'll see from my freak out a few videos back, I don't exactly um, care much for Cartoon Network nowadays. What? What is it, Double D? There's his gap. Ooh. Now let's be voyeurs on Naz. Is that Naz? Yes, it's Naz. Oh, has he been rolling in that this whole time? Apparently. Click. Yeah, that's pretty much Kevin. He's that jerk everybody knows. And, um... I think everybody... I think that was the charm of this show. Like, every character on the show, you knew someone in real life who was kind of like that. I was more of the Ed of my group. Even though I was incredibly smart, I still like to play the fool just because it made other people laugh. But I was also equally happy to be the Eddie. The, di the dynamic switched a lot depending on who I hung out with. Sometimes I was the Ed, sometimes I was the Eddie, depending on who I was hanging out with. And Naz is clueless, which will be a running character trait. Oh, the famous line. This almost got it so that I couldn't watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Because my cousin misheard the line, and she told my aunt what she'd heard. And my aunt thought this show was dirty. Dirty. Then again, this was a cartoon cartoon. Technically, I guess. Which would mean, you know, there's a lot of parental bonuses. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I go back and I watch the shows from my childhood, like Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo. There was a lot of shit they got away with. What? Yikes, I am a wiener. She heard it as, yikes, I am a... Nah, I'm not going to finish that. <laughs> Victor's gone mad. Victor. Victor, run. 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 Uh, door. Doink. That was close. Boom. Victor's gone mad. And, uh, oh, here's Kevin. Why is his... Uh, never mind. Where do you get the lights, and how are they being powered? Johnny in the bath. Washing plank. That's amazing. Saw anything? <laughs> There's a parental bonus right there, kinda. Yep, they're in a tire. Won't be the first time a tire is used to comedic effect. Uh, no. You got a garbage truck. And in the river they go. Mm. Flip the tire. Would that ruin the camera being in the water? Like, no matter how you face it, that camera's been in the water. Why is there a ran? Oh, they're in the trailer park. <laughs> yeah, that is fear. That is pure and unbridled fear of the Canker Sisters. Lush something. Oh my god. That is some really early... Like, the early episodes of Ed, Ed, and Eddie really had some weird animation. And look right there. It proves she has two eyes. As in later episodes, she had an eye patch. But then again, it could be just that 
something happened to her during that time. I always liked Marie. She was my favorite canker sister. I didn't really care for... Nobody... Not Marie. Yeah. The blue-haired one. I can't remember their names, but... I know May's white. I'm pretty sure Lee is the redhead and Marie is the one was blue hair. But then again, I could be wrong because I haven't watched the show in so long. But the blue-haired canker was always my favorite. Even though I disliked her because everyone disliked the canker sisters, I just kind of liked her for the simple fact that she was kind of like the one canker sister that wasn't like... She was bad, but she wasn't like the worst. You could say that about May too. May's just too dumb not to go know to go along with her sisters. The, we're gonna make you pretty. We're gonna make you pretty. We're gonna make you pretty. I love those lines. <laughs> I used to say that to my bird all the time, and my bird would like start twitching its head because it liked the sound of the. Yeah, you know, like he was trying to listen to me. It was like you know, cocked its head. No one will see you, and Sarah got you. Which of course that proves their hair colors. I like how there is a champagne bottle, a comb, and... Never mind. Why did he, he... He stapled his hat to the bag, literally. And with that, uh, we end this.